Markets hoping for a breather after weeks of tumult, punctuated by a strong jobs report and another Fed rate rise, plus the third U.S. bank failure in just two months' time. But as tempting as it may be to sell in May and wash your hands of the market's mess, staying in and shifting strategies could yield better returns. Here to discuss is Mark Holbert, who is the investment columnist and founder of Holbert Financial Digest. Great to have you here with us. First, the sell in May and then go away, is that kind of off the table from your perspective? And if so, why? That's a great question. It turns out that people have looked at uh, the historical record with a fine tooth comb have found that actually the, uh, the sell in May and go away pattern only traces to a certain number of years, about one out of every four years on average. And so therefore it's, it's risky to be out of the market for uh, at least half more, if not more than half the time. So the idea of actually staying in the market but shifting to more defensive sectors makes sense as a way of continuing to be in the market and not uh, running the risk of uh, avoiding a market rally during those six months between May Day and Halloween. Hey, Mark, it's Julie here. So what does that shift look like? Where should people be going? What should they be avoiding during that uh, middle of the year period? Well, the defensive sector is obviously the, the consumer staple sectors. Healthcare is another one that uh, uh, historically has tended to do well in the, in the summer months. Um, it makes there's a, actually a very relatively easy way of uh, of playing those sectors without actually having to pick them yourselves. There's a strategy that uh, Sam Stovall at CFRA has put out that uh, goes under the ticker SC, SZNE, and uh, it's been around now about five years. And basically, it does the switching for you. So on May Day, it automatically switches to those more def more defensive uh, sectors and then back into the more aggressive ones on uh, on Halloween. Okay, and so you, we've got that pulled up here on the screen. You know, just as we kind of think about where the directionality of these markets could continue to move over the course of this year, I mean, we're looking at kind of being back near some of the peaks of this year for the S&P 500 at least, but we've been in that range once again, or in that ballpark prior to this point. So. Ultimately, do you just foresee some type of sideways activity through the rest of this year? How could investors play that? And, and what sectors really catch your largest interest in that? Well, no, you know, those are all great questions, which I think are somewhat uh, far afield from the question of whether to switch to different sectors. This is not a market timing strategy. So the market may do well over the next six months. It may not do well. Um, but basically, the idea of this strategy is without making a a call on the market as a whole. There's a way in which you can stay in the market, but shift uh, your beta basically, go become more defensive for those six months. So it's not really saying, yes, this is in a particular six month period that'll do well. Uh, if you look back historically though, more than half the summer months are actually good ones for the stock market. So if you take the more traditional sell and may and go away strategy, you're ending up giving up quite a bit of upside, even though you will avoid those market downturns that are on average about one out of four times. And, and it sounds like that this strategy bears fruit over multiple years, right? It's In other words, it's, it doesn't make sense necessarily to just focus, laser focus on doing it in a particular year, but rather doing it cumulatively. No, that's a, that's a great point. I mean, if you go back and look, uh, Actually, the, uh, the, uh, the, the ETF that Sam Stovall created actually has not beaten the market since 2018 when it was launched. Uh, S&P has back-tested and back-calculated what the return would have been back to 1990, I believe. And over a 20-year period, it actually has beaten the market. So uh, if you look at those historical precedents, what it suggests is that this is a long-term bet. So you're not necessarily making a bet in any particular year about the direction of the market. So this is one of those things like being a card counter in blackjack. You can't expect to win every round, but by getting the odds increasingly in your favor that over time you'll end up winning. Mark Holbert, who is the investment columnist and founder of Holbert Financial Digest. Thanks so much for taking the time here today. Appreciate it. My pleasure.